Let's talk about slope real quick. The slope is the steepness of a line. So if you see a line like this, right, you can picture yourself maybe walking up this line, not too steep. Slope's not gonna be that great. But if you see a line like this, whoa, that's a steep slope, okay? I don't know if you'd be walking, you'd probably probably be climbing something like this, okay? So that's gonna have a high slope, all right? Your slope's gonna be greater. Now, what's the letter we use when we talk about the slope? You've probably seen this one before, y equals mx plus b, and this one is called the slope-intercept form. And the reason we call this a slope-intercept form is because if your y is all by itself, you can just look at this and you can tell me what the slope is, it's the m, and what the b is. It's the y-intercept. Okay, remember for a y-intercept you have to plug in a zero for x. <clears throat> so if you see a line that looks like this, and it says y equals negative 2x plus 3, the slope of this line is negative 2. Okay, it's the coefficient. Don't, don't put the x there. The x is not part of it. It's just the coefficient. The slope is negative 2. And then what's the y-intercept of this line? 0, 3. Okay, it's just because I'm looking right there at that number. So if you get it in slope-intercept form, which means if you get this y by itself, you can just look at it and tell me what the slope is and what the y-intercept is. Now, why do they use the letter m for slope? Let me give you a hint. That's a line, right? It's got a slope. Right? Mountains, okay? So when you see M for slope, think of going up the mountains, okay? I know we don't do a lot of skiing in Louisiana, but think about hitting the slopes.